I'm Alice Choi, a wife, mother of two, home cook, and I run a food blog called Hip Foodie Mom. Today we're at the University of Minnesota and we're going to be meeting with Dr. Jeff Bender. He's a professor and veterinarian here and we're going to be speaking on the topic of antibiotics. Dr. Bender, thank you so much for being here with us today. What are antibiotics and how are they used for food animals? Well, antibiotics are medications that we use to actually really treat ill animals. It also can be used to prevent disease, so when we mix a group of animals together, just like we mix children together at a daycare, there's a chance for disease transmission to occur, and sometimes those could be bacterial. And so treatment, prevention, and control are really the main ways that we use antibiotics. Who administers uh, these antibiotics to the food animals on, on farms? Producers or farmers um, under the supervision of a veterinarian. Veterinarians are, are critical in working with the farmer. They need to make a decision about what dose, how frequently it needs to be given, and then more importantly, working with the farmer about what we call the withdrawal period, the time from the when you stop antibiotics to the time that the animal can actually go into the market system. So what would happen to a consumer if there was antibiotic residue on something that was being consumed? There's been concern about you know, human health issues if they were to consume a product that had penicillin in it, especially if you had a penicillin allergy. So that's actually really the crux of why we don't want residues and why it's illegal to actually have residues in that and why there are mechanisms in place to test product to make sure that there are no antibiotics in the, in the food that we're consuming. Can you talk about um, antibiotic use that some farmers might be doing to help grow the animals? That's a good question. And it really comes back in the, the 40s where we're seeing that we could actually get these animals to grow faster, that they, we, they were healthier, that they went to market sooner. So um, we really didn't, back in the 40s, really think about you know, the issue of antibiotic resistance as much. Now it is a societal concern. With that concern, it is no longer permitted to use, at least in the United States, antibiotics for growth promotion. If any consumers out there have any issues about antibiotic resistance, what's the key takeaway for them? We use antibiotics, there's the potential for those organisms to change and adapt. So we have to think more globally about antibiotic use. Do I really need to use an antibiotic? At the same way, the veterinarian needs to work very closely with the farmer to say, do we really need an antibiotic here? If it's an animal welfare issue, you know, and the animal's ill, then antibiotics might be necessary, very necessary. What would you say to someone who is concerned about antibiotic use on food animals on the farm. The food that we have in our, our grocery stores is good. It is inspected. There are regulations in place to really eliminate the possibility that there are antibiotics there. Products that you buy at the grocery store, you should feel comfortable in consuming. The perspective that I loved from Dr. Bender was learning about when um, veterinarians and these farmers are giving their animals these antibiotics. It's when they're sick. and. That's something that I never really thought about before, so I loved learning that. And at the end of the day, we as consumers and parents, we have choices when it comes to the foods that we buy for our families, and that's something that we can all feel good about.